Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. The tarot card for today is the Tower. I think this is probably one of the most feared cards of the tarot because it's so disruptive in nature at times, and people tend to not know what to expect with it. However, it can't be all bad, right? Now, if you were listening yesterday, when we had the Four of Pentacles, and I said to you, did you see my little video that comes out on Sundays that tells you what all of the cards are from Monday through Sunday? And, you know, if you're familiar with them and you saw this lineup of cards, I'd be like, oh my God, because, you know, there's definitely a shakeup in the works here today. Yesterday's Four of Pentacles, you know, has that clinginess going on. And today he's just uprooting everything. But does it have to be in a bad way? I don't think so. Change is definitely in the air. If you have listened to your sun sign tarot guidance that's available for this month, and there will be a new moon one coming out later this week. There was a Mars one that came out at the end of last week, plus the weekly, plus the love and finance. There's a bunch of them out there that are really setting all of this up for you. You know, this is a month for breaking out and making things happen. And one of the things that I have discussed pretty much, I think, for everyone is that whole cycle that has been going on for years dealing with the Aries new moon and what it means to you this year. So this is a very interesting month that we're at the beginning of here and it isn't fully getting underway yet, okay? But there can be to anything happening today, all right? When you see the tower, there is no predictability with what comes up, you know? So we're going to see things that are shocking. We're going to see things that are chaotic, disruptive, enlightening, illuminating. I can go on and on. I mean, just think of it. It's like an eye opener, but it's also something that, that breaks a grip on something, okay? I don't think it's meant to be a bad thing. If the universe is trying to pry something from your grip, because I've been trying to tell you in maybe not as much in the daily, you know, ones that you listen to here, but in the really lengthy ones that I do that are from 20 to 30 minutes long, you know, explaining how you need to let go of a certain facet of life. And it has a great deal to do with what is coming at this new moon. So, you know, pay attention to those things. Know what it means for you. And, you know, if you're not sure, you can go over to Patreon. You can, you know, go to the members only by clicking on the blue crystal ball on my page or the use app at the top of my page. Either one. And, you'll, you know, you'll find that there's a great deal of info there to help you through. So right now... I'm looking at this and is it clear? All right, because sometimes when you have that kind of rubble and that kind of chaos, things aren't clear. And today Mercury is conjunct Neptune. So, you know, it's like if there was an implosion, think about when you see those scenes on TV when they blow up a building and all the dust that comes from it, okay? Think of it that way. Takes a little while for that air to clear out, doesn't it? And that's what you got going on. Mercury is still in Pisces. And it is conjunct Neptune in Pisces. And it is still in shadow from its retrograde. So you're not quite there yet. I'm not going to spill the beans, but yeah, you need to check it out and see what it means for the long term. Definitely <laughs> today you could be like trying to find your way through that implosion of sorts. So I want to thank you very much for being here and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.